Hey, I'm Bob. I've been blind since birth, and I'm into Star Wars and anime, so I'm sure you guys know where this vid is going. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the notification button, all that YouTube stuff. So, Star Wars Visions, a series of Star Wars anime shorts, has just dropped on Disney+. Plus. It's September 22nd, and I just got done watching The Duel, the first of nine shorts. I thought I'd record my thoughts and first impressions after watching each of them, so it's going to take a couple days. I don't really want to watch them all in one go. I'm trying to to um, space these out and really enjoy them. So there will be spoilers ahead. If you haven't seen any of these episodes, I advise you to watch them first. What an action-packed short The Duel was. I mean, it grabs you from start to finish. It doesn't let you go until those 15 minutes have passed. And thank goodness Disney Plus added audio description tracks to each of these shorts, to everything Star Wars. It's awesome to live in a time in which uh, me, as pretty much a lifelong Star Wars fan, can be able to go along this visual journey with fellow Star Wars fans. I never thought I'd live to see the day in which this was a thing. So I had no idea where this short was going to fit uh, in the Star Wars timeline. I mean, yes, it's a, it's a reimagining of Star Wars, but it really had an Old Republic feel to me, even though uh, the, the troopers in this short are stormtroopers. I didn't realize they were until I looked it up after watching the short. It doesn't really specify what classification of troopers uh, are in this short. I don't believe they're audibly referred to as stormtroopers at all. So my mind went directly to the Old Republic era. We have a, a Ronin who's trying to make up for former misdeeds. And uh, we, we have a Sith female who shows up and she's attacking this village of defenseless people. Their chieftain is a child, and she's trying to squeeze all the money she can out of these uh, defenseless villagers. And you've got this Ronin who is clearly a, a former Sith, and he decides to step in and protect these people. He's got a red lightsaber, and I love the umbrella lightsaber that our masked female Sith warrior pulls out and duels with. Man, I don't know if that's Lucy Liu for sure. It sure sounded like her. I need to look up the cast of of English dub uh, actors who decided to voice these roles so I can, I can figure that out for sure. I haven't done that yet. I plan on doing it later. But if that was Lucy Liu, man, she just killed it. I think all of the cast did. And what a duel that was. I, I don't know what the lightsabers look like, and that is why I was playing Hasbro Should Make That in my head as I was watching this short. I was like, okay, we need a 3.75 vintage collection figure of the Ronin. We need a 3.75 uh, masked female warrior Sith with umbrella lightsaber. They need to make the droid that fired a whole truckload of missiles uh, there toward the end of the duel. Um, the action figure collector guy in me... Uh, really had a field day with these new characters and uh, <clears throat> this new situation. So, yeah, Hasbro, bring them on. <laughs> so, it was really cool that this Ronin had an air of mystery about him. You don't know what this guy's former life was like. You know that he's, well, apparently trying to make up for things that he regrets. At least that's what my uh, my imagination gleamed from the the episode. And it's cool that he has an air of enigma about him. Uh, we don't need to know his name. I was glad that he didn't reveal it after the duel. Uh, when he was asked, uh, he just kind of, I guess, shrugs it off. But it would be it would have been cool to see more of our uh, Sith female antagonist. Boy, was she cool. And what a what an amazing short that was. I can't wait to get into the other shorts. And I love the fact that our Ronin protagonist, if that's what you want to call him, that he had a collection of red lightsaber crystals. Apparently he's carrying those around with him. And I like the fact that he gave one uh, to 
the young village chieftain and told him that, hey, you know, keep this with you. It'll ward off evil. Uh, he's apparently got a bit of heart to him and awesome to see him stepping in and helping these people out. It's a really interesting episode and I can't wait to delve into the other shorts. So that will do for this short and sweet video. And I'll try to post more first impression videos as I watch each short. Maybe I'll do one every other day. I really want to make these last as long as I can, but we'll see how 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 that goes. I mean, it's it's Star Wars, and once you get going in a particular series, uh, it's it's hard, at least for me, to stop. So I will hear you guys in the next Visions video. Have a great day.